Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Geeky Bench with tutorial number 6, I believe, for the HTML tutorial series I'm doing. And last tutorial I taught you how to make this beautiful header um, and this little border just underneath uh, the title. So now I'll teach you guys how to make a menu bar, just a simple menu bar. To do this, it's pretty simple, if you just follow me. Um, yeah, let's get on with this. So we'll make another div called, uh, div class, um, called just menu. And then, this time work with UL. I didn't teach you guys yet, um, but this is unordered list. And then just tab these out. This stands for unordered list, and then li stands for list item. Um, a href a is like hyperlink, and uh, we can go um, index .html just to um, reference our home page. Actually, I just write home. You don't need to space those out. Close the A tag, close the list item tag. And then we can make another one of this. Remember these text I mean not these, um right here only this text will be shown on your on your menu bar, so we'll make an exact same replica of the first one. Um so we'll just name this about the HTML and we can close the list item and li a we'll just make a third one make this contact the HTML and contact close the a tag and then close the list item tag control s to save once again actually let's close this one let's close you well now control s and yep there we go that's it let's see what we did so far so we got this nice unordered list with this ugly bullet point right here um so what we want to do is just put this horizontally like that and get rid of these nasty things to do this we work with uh, CSS close the div tag as well forgot about that okay now we can go to our CSS file style sheet file and this time we'll use a pound symbol. I mean, just call it hash. Yeah, whatever. Um, menu UL. When you write that, that pretty much stands for just one thing. I mean, we only have got this over here, so it's targeting that. And let's see. Um, margin. Let's do the margin first. Zero pixels. Padding. Zero pixels. List. Style. Type. None. And control S once again. We'll move on to. A. Mm, let's do display first and then block and w you'll see what these does afterwards I mean once you see it you'll understand what each of these things do, do and you'll get the basic idea of CSS and how it works um, sometimes called the syntax of CSS and 
I mean, this is really, really simple here. Once you know, of course. And you can do text decoration to get rid of the underlines. So. Text decoration, none. And text align. Um, text align, just make it center, yeah. And control S once again to save it. We'll make one of the, um, another one of those. Call it menu hover. Um, just uh, in this one, just change the background color. Menu hover um, is what happens when you this thing here. This is what will happen when you hover over the menu text or the menu item, the list item. So, let's just make it, I don't know, random color. Not really familiar with these uh, colors. And finally, we can do menu list item. To just, yeah. Uh, to make a horizontal, you know. And then we can do margin just to give a little bit space. So margin right, we just, yeah, make it give some space on the right side of the text. Control S to save. And something has gone wrong. <laughs> Something is wrong here. Doom. What is wrong? Oh, I put class instead of ID. That was the wrong thing. ID. It's if you use this hashtag here, if you use a hash, I mean, you're supposed to put ID, not class. So control save. And there we go. We have a nice menu bar. When you hover over it, it has this nice um, purplish color. And it's nice. Obviously, when you click it, nothing will happen. This error mo message will come up because we haven't created about.html and contact.html yet. So, thanks for watching. This is it for this tutorial. And stay tuned for the next tutorial. Once again, thanks for watching.